Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I was exploring a bunch of planets trying to look for an abandoned platform with a bunch of aliens on it. I didn't find it, but instead I came across Vadamil's house. And I know that you actually get an activity during the main story to visit his house, but I didn't think much of it and I just left it there because I didn't think it would be anything cool. And now I just came across of it. It's called Vlad's Villa. It is located here in the uh, Sirma system. The planet is Sirma 7. And I gotta say, this might be the nicest house in the game. His house is actually pretty dope. There's even a path leading to the house with arches. Then there is this big ass pond in front of the house. I was able to just open the door and enter, no key, no nothing. I'm not sure if you're able to do it if you didn't get the invitation from Vladimir during the main story. If anyone knows, maybe leave a comment for everyone else. And gotta tell you, it's a very nice house. This should have been the dream home. That thing was a sad windowless brick. But this one actually looks like a nice mansion, like a dream home. And there is this room downstairs that you actually have to use a digipick to unlock it. This kind of command center room with weapons and cameras and things like that. I mean, after all, Vadimil was part of the Crimson Fleet. So this room kind of makes sense. And if you care about the lore of the game, there are five slates just laying around in the house, three inside, two outside that you can listen to. And it's basically his diary from after he left the fleet. And the good thing about this house is that you could just make it yours. You can take everything you want as well. Nothing is considered stealing, so it's really generous. And there is more upstairs. You have this balcony with a view. And it has a lot of furniture that you do not have when you're decorating your own outpost, like this cooking range. I didn't see that anywhere else in the game. I think this is the first time I see it. And then look at that couch. I mean, that is a very futuristic looking couch. So yeah, you can make yourself at home pretty much. The only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed is the master bedroom. It feels kind of small, a little bit bland compared to the rest of the house. And of course, I took a nap with Sarah. I'm actually really surprised how nice this house is compared to some of the other houses we had. I mean, of course, there is the party house, you know, but then again, that place is overrun by pirates and everything, so it doesn't really count. This one is actually a livable house that you can actually come here and I use it as yours. The only thing is you cannot decorate it, obviously. I mean, there's nothing, you cannot move anything, you cannot decorate it like your own dream home or the or the penthouse, but it doesn't really need much decoration. I thought I'd share, I'm not sure how many people ignored this activity like I did or not. Uh, give it a go, come over here, check it out. It's a cool little place. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching, enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.